All right, glassware. It's certainly an issue that comes up when we talk about cocktails because specific cocktails belong in specific glasses. Now, we can always work around that depending on what you have, but let's go through some of the basics. The rocks glass or the old fashioned glass. Uh, any type of low ball drink, drinks that are just gonna be poured over ice. Think about drinks like a smash or um, an old fashioned. Drinks that are smaller in terms of volume and just wanna go over large chunks, they're gonna go into an old fashioned glass. Um, nice squat, classic glass, easy to use. The highball glass, or if this was a little bit taller, the Collins glass. Simple, straightforward, refreshing, tall drinks. Gin and tonics, mojitos, things like that. Things that wanna be up and look refreshing. Giving you an opportunity to, to really show off the cocktail and what it looks like in the glass. That's when you're, getting, when you're going to utilize the Collins glass or the highball glass. Simple, straightforward, really easy to use, really makes the drink look good. This glass, which many people know as a martini glass, which is traditionally called a cocktail glass. The cocktail glass has a multitude of uses and really anything that you put in it looks extra sexy. So you can utilize that for almost anything, but obviously drinks like the martini, Manhattan, Cosmopolitan, things like that, really standard drinks that just wanna show off that beauty in the glass, that's a beautiful one to use. And then champagne flute. Obviously any drink that you're gonna finish with champagne, it's a great opportunity to use the champagne flute not necessarily just for champagne, but maybe you want to do a mimosa or any type of fruit-based drink that you top with champagne, really great opportunity to use a champagne flute. Make sure that anytime you do use a flute, it's chilled. Uh, say you were doing a pisco sour or something like that, it's another opportunity. If you didn't have a traditional sour glass, a champagne flute would work very nicely. Wine glasses, obviously we're going to pour our wine into them, but wine glasses have a purpose for things like sangrias or things like cobblers. Any drink that might be just a little bit too big to go in a rocks glass or one that you maybe just want to make look a little sexier by putting in a stem glass, put it in the wine glass. It's a great glass to have around because really almost any drink can go into a wine glass. In the industry, we'll call this an all-purpose glass because it really serves all purposes. If you have a bunch of those on hand, you can really fudge it and put a lot of different cocktails in there. And then the snifter is one that if you have it around, great. You can use it. You're mostly going to use it for sipping straight spirits out of it. Obviously, we think about cognac in a snifter, but any spirit that you really want to get the essence of and enjoy, you can, you can serve out of the snifter too. It doesn't necessarily have a lot of cocktail applications but there's nothing that's going to prevent you from throwing a cocktail in there just for fun. So obviously in your home bar, work with what you have, but now you have a better idea of what glass goes with which cocktail. Play with them on their own and mix and match as you see fit, but most of all, have fun with your glassware.